Welcome to Ballet Wise. My name is Michael Wise. I'm its host and its creator. Today, we're going to talk about something that's probably on a lot of students' minds, summer sessions. Now, on this channel, we really want to focus on what's the best thing you need to do while you're there, how to get the most out of those classes, and how to leave that lasting impression. Now, first of all, I want to congratulate you on getting into your summer session, whether you're going off somewhere or whether you're just staying at home. Summer sessions are an integral part of our training. It's a great way where we get to meet other people in the industry, and it's also a great way to compare to see, where am I? Because you're in a room with people you probably don't know, and it allows us to kind of gauge, have I been training the right way? Where am I in my technical journey? One of the most important things that you need to understand is, are you ready to go to your intensive? Intensives are designed to be a condensed moment in a dancer's life, where classes are going to be brutal, where you're going to be hitting so many different areas, where the, whether it's just technique or point class or men's class or partnering or modern dance, you're going to be getting a lot. You're also going to be surrounded by people that you don't know, and you're going to be making new friends. But the number one thing that you can do before you go is keep training. Don't take the vacation before it starts. I have known people that have gone on week vacations or two week vacations before they go off to their intensive and then they get injured in the first week. And I don't think you want to be going to a summer session just to sit on the floor and nurse a bad ankle. Your goal is work as hard as you can in your classes, get yourself prepared because it's always better to show up to an intensive ready to work than showing up to an intensive to get in shape. Intensives, they're the real deal. They're meant to be there to challenge us, also make us better. So that's the first thing you should look at. Second thing is you're there. Some of you will already go through placement classes. Some of you will already be pre-assigned to your levels. But what do you need to do? Well, when you're in that class, don't worry about anybody else. You're there to work. So do and work. Listen and learn. You're there to improve as a dancer. Yes, you're going to look around the room, and yes, you're going to see some dancers better than you and some dancers not quite. But the difference is your job in that small amount of time is to get to be one of the best in the class. Push yourself. You're there for a reason. You're a dancer, and the fact that you're a dancer we have to move. We have to push forward. We want to master what our bodies can do. And you have that opportunity right now. Don't care about others. When it's time for you to dance, you have to do it. You do it at the level you work at. Don't do it at someone else's level. Don't worry about the girl next to you. Now, once the combination is over, you can be the nicest person on the planet and you can be friends with all those girls. But the reality is, when it's time to do that combination, you're alone. You have no one to compare yourself with other than the girl or the boy in the mirror. So remember, work for yourself, not for others. Take what that teacher is telling you and apply it to the best of your capabilities. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand how something works, once the class is over, ask to speak to the teacher and ask your question. Teachers want to work with students that want to learn. Teachers want to work with students that are willing to push the level of what they're capable of doing. 
it is better for you to get the correction of you're doing too much than not doing enough. Those are the things that are going to help make you stand out. Now, one of the most important things is the idea of leaving the good impression. But if you're doing step one and step two, step three is the easy one. Because leaving that impression will already be in the process. When you're in those classes, smile at the teacher, ask your questions, work harder than everyone else, and that will leave that lasting impression. I know from the point of view as a teacher and a mentor, but also I have worked with multiple other teachers and the students that always want to push that envelope, that are willing to do just a little bit more than everyone else, that ask those really intelligent questions and that are just a joy to be around, they're the ones that stand out. But sometimes we forget, we work so hard, we get frustrated with ourselves that we forget that we're always being watched. And as a dancer, we always have to be aware that when we're in class, it's a performance. We have to get used to that. We're always there to prove ourselves, not only to the teacher, but to the dancer in that room, to you. When you can walk into a class and you can see the improvement and they can see how proud you are of your improvement, the teacher's going to notice that. You're going to stand out. Being a positive influence on others, that will make you stand out. But always pushing the envelope and trying to be the best answer you can be, that's the one that really matters. So remember, standing out really is being the best you can be. Work hard, push the envelope. Be polite and listen, but be real. And you will stand out and you will get noticed, but for the right reasons, not the wrong ones. You might have a goal of wanting to go to those schools that you're now visiting full time. You may want them to help you either go into a trainee position in the future but the difference is, is the way you work, how you work, how you present yourself, that's what matters. Those teachers, those directors, you'll get pointed out and you will stand out because you're not compromising. You're there to get a job done, but you love doing the job anyway. So hopefully this has helped you understand what you need to do to get the most out of your summer session, understanding what to do before you start, what to do while you're there, and how to stand out during this whole process. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And remember, share it with your friends and leave us those comments because it always helps us. And remember, help us build this channel the more people we can reach, the more good advice we can actually give. So, my name is Michael Wise. This has been Ballet Wise. And remember, keep dancing and be the best person you can be. Bye.